All right, let's talk about charge air coolers and how to test them properly and why to test them. Charge air cooler, air to air, after coolers or intercoolers are all the same component. Uh, today we're gonna talk about them as charge air coolers or CACs. Uh, today's diesel engines mainly maximize fuel economy and performance relying on the air to air heat exchangers to maximize fuel economy and performance. Charge air coolers typically fail gradually and declining efficiencies often go undetected However, the consequences of a malfunctioning charge air cooler can be costly. Um, and see, these are some of the causes. Heat stress, vehicle vibration, turbocharger failures, accidents, improper testing. Um, and the symptoms that are gonna be associated with these failures is loss of engine power, increased fuel consumption, exhaust manifold failure, premature piston rings and valve failure, elevated coolant temperatures, turbocharger failures, and increased particulate levels in the emission. All right, so today we're going to be demonstrating the Northern Radiator Charge Air Cooler Tester, the RW0090-11 CAC Tester. All right, and these charge air coolers, it's recommended to be tested every three years or 300,000 miles. All right, let's get started. All right, so we are going to grab and position the, in the tester over the inlet and outlet of the charge air cooler. You will notice that it has a hose bead right here. If it does have a hose bead, we're going to want to go right up tight to that hose bead with the V-clamp. If it does not have a hose bead, then you want to be one inch down from the surface. All right. So we're going to position this and we are going to tighten these bolts finger tight plus one turn. Do not over tighten these. There's no reason to do that. I have tested several of them and it has never moved, shifted or anything like that. So again, they're tight, it's up against here. And we are just gonna then tighten the half turn here, half turn there. All right, one turn. You're then gonna wanna make sure you center this cover over top of it, screw these down evenly. And we're gonna tighten these to five foot pounds or 60 inch pounds. Again, you're going to want to tighten them evenly. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other side. Same thing, finger tight. Up against that lip. Okay, center the cap, and five foot pounds. All right, so now that we have both the lawn tight, torque to proper spec, we're gonna put shop air to it, but before we put shop air to it, uh, this does have a regulator. It has a 35 PSI pop-off valve. As I said in the beginning, anything more than 35 PSI can actually damage these charge air coolers. So you do not want to do that. Inside each of these kits it does come an instruction sheet and it comes with a general guideline for how much pressure loss, how much pressure to put in, in the amount of time for each engine. This charge air cooler was in a Western Star with a Mercedes engine. So the spec for that is five PSI loss in 15 seconds at 25 PSI. So we are gonna now hook air up to it. We're gonna open the valve slightly and we're gonna slowly turn the regulator to get to 25 PSI. So 
So once you get to 25 PSI, shut the valve off. You can start your stopwatch now. So the stopwatch again, we have to lose five PSI is allowed in 15 seconds. If anything more than that, it fails. 15 seconds has elapsed and we have not lost anything. This charge air cooler is in good working order. So that concludes the testing for the charge air cooler from Northern. Again, this test can be performed on or off vehicle.